in this video, uh, I'll finish the second part of the question. The question was, uh, okay, we had to find the length of AB. So let me go back. So we saw L1 had this equation, the equation was given. So when I wrote in gradient intercept form, this became y is equal to 8 minus 2x that you can see very clearly. Then next fact that they say that L1 and L2 are perpendicular to each other. So we saw as they're perpendicular, the product of the gradient has to be negative 1. We can prove this. Okay, that's not the focus here. You should know this result. So if M1, we are saying L1 has a gradient of negative 2. So we say, okay, L1 has a gradient of M1. So if M1 is negative 2, M2, which is a gradient of L2, has to be half because half times negative 2 gives me 1. So then I said, okay, then L2 has to be half plus C. And we figured out C by putting 7, 4, because they also gave us that 0 0.74, excuse me, is a point on this line. So I put the value of x as 7 and y as 4 in the equation, and I got c is 0.5. So that was the second equation. Okay, what the third, uh, the second equation was this. Given that L1 and L2 intersect each other at b, find the length of ab. Then we solve these two equations uh, by, uh, this is called uh, an elimination method. So I said this is equal to this. So 8 minus 2x is 0.5x plus 0.5. Then what I did was I grouped, I brought the x's together and the numbers together. So I took away 0.5 from this side. So I have to take away 0.5 from this side. And to, I added 2x on this side. So I add 2x on this side. So this 2x gets cancelled and 0.5 gets cancelled. So this is 2 plus 0.5 is 3.5 and we got x is x is 3 and then I put this back into this so we got this okay so we know a is 7 4 and we know b is 3 2 we had to find the distance or the length of the line so I have already done the work so this is a rough sketch this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis so let me use a thinner pen I'm obsessed about thinner pin. Okay, so let me use a green color. So yeah, what does it say? So we want to find the distance between A, which is 7, 4, and B, which is 3, 2. So this is 3, 2, and this is 7, 4. This is a sketch. So we want to find the distance. So to find the distance, we are using Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So if this is A, this is B, I can say let this point, let I made a right angle triangle joining these two points. So C. So Pythagoras theorem should be very easy to you. So yeah, what's from B to C? It is from 3 to 7. So the distance from B to C is, you look at the x coordinate, 3 to 7, that is 4. This distance is 4. And this distance is 2 to 4, which is 2. So using Pythagoras theorem, using Pythagoras, what can we say? Can I say uh, AB squared is equal to BC squared plus AC squared? So this is equal to BC is 4, that is 4 squared plus 2 squared. So I can say now, simplify this. So AB squared, AB squared, so AB squared, 4 squared is 16 plus 2 squared is 4, which is 20. So AB is square root of 20. So let us write this in third form. This is square root of six, uh, 4 times square root of 5. So AB in the third form is 2 root 5. So that's fine and that's perfect. 
So if you have got all these answers uh, and if you have worked it yourself, you should be really proud so you can give yourself five stars. One, two, three, four, five. See you in the next video.